Hey, I'm Kaylee Bender of KB's Creations on behalf of ResinObsession.com, and we're going to compare the effects of Resiblast and Dimethicone with Mastercast Resin. Here are the supplies I used. And then here is a picture of the colors I used, the resin, and then the Dimethicone and Resiblast. And I'm starting with my resin already mixed, and I just follow the instructions on the bottles. And on the right, it's three drops of dimethicone in each color. And on the left, it's three drops of resoblast in each color. And I mixed it up well. And I decided to do a direct pour rather than a dirty pour because I just prefer that technique with resin. And usually I like how they turn out better. And so I'm just kind of doing a bullseye look. And at first, it does appear that there are some cells opening up on each one. And I think overall, the result would have been better if maybe I hadn't added the Resoblast and Dimethicone into each color. So I'm gonna have to try that again at a later date. And also, it just seemed when I tipped it around, that's kind of when the cells were lost. So maybe I shouldn't have tipped it so much, but it's not terrible. And then you just torch it to get rid of the bubbles and everything. And so because um, I wanted to see what would happen when I swiped it to see if more cells would open up. And at first they did. But I think maybe if I had just swiped one color across the rest of them, like white across the blue and the purple, the results would have been a little bit more in my favor but again it's a good first start and here are the results the next day where it's all cured and everything and they look pretty similar and a picture of them Dimethicone on the left, Resoblast on the right. And then here I am going to flick Resoblast on the one on the left, on the surface of it, and on the one on the right, I'm gonna flick Dimethicone and use a toothbrush to do this. I found the results were better when I used the toothbrush with each one instead of just dropping it because the amount is too large in one spot if you use a dropper but when you flick it off the toothbrush you get more of a spray so the one on the left is going to be the Resblast and you can immediately see a reaction because flicking the silicone or um, the Resblast on the surface is my preferred way to get cells with resin definitely So, sorry about the back of my head. <laughs> and then over here, we're gonna do the dimethicone after I mess with that one a little more. <laughs> so I torched it first to get rid of the bubbles and make it a little more fluid. And put dimethicone on the brush and flick it. And here are the results the next day. You can see cells on both of them. I think maybe my surface wasn't totally level because it did change, but you can see the cells are more defined this way. And here's a picture of the results after the Resblast on the left and Methicone on the right. So here's where you can check me out online and I appreciate it and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.